Hello and welcome back guys. So we now have some widget areas here, but let's make them official. So if we go to the uh, theme developers handbook here, now where it says theme functionality, there is sidebar here, and that's where I want us to check. So on sidebar, it gives us exactly what to do in order to register a sidebar. So I'm just going to copy this code right here and let's paste it in our... Um... Now you can register multiple sidebars in one uh, function or you can just use one function called register sidebar, which I prefer to do. So to do the registration as usual, we'll go to functions inside the add action in the init. That's the best place to do it where we register menus. But here we're going to say uh, register uh, sidebars. So let's paste that code. Okay, so you see here there's a function theme init, uh, which is uh, widgets init. That's the action there. So let's get this action, copy that. So it seems uh, instead of using the init, we might as well use the another action. So let me paste that action here. And this action is widgets init. And then we need to add a function. But like I have already said in the past, I do not like adding functions that way. So let me just make sure I select everything here and cut this out. Uh, let me move the comment to this point. Okay. And delete. Okay, so that's the hook that we want to register our sidebars with. But instead of... Let me move these guys inward a little bit, like so. So let me remove this function. Cut that out. And I want to replace this with an actual function. Paste. That way I don't have to worry about function names and the like. Okay, so like so. Yes, so register, register. This goes with that. Okay, that is cool. So just organize the code as needed. Now, the things we are looking at here, um, uh, let's look at this here. So what this underscore underscore bracket means is that this is a function name, this underscore, these double underscores. So what this function does is it's a localization uh, function, meaning if you're going to use multiple languages on your theme, you will have to use this. So that once you get primary uh, sidebar, in case the language changes, it can change to a different text. But we're not doing that here, so we don't need this function, but we can leave it there if we want to, no problem. But uh, let's just simplify things. I'll remove it. And of course, I'll have to remove this here. So this is the name of the sidebar. Now, you can name these things anything you want. So let's come back here to the main page. So you can give this part a name and say, uh, primary maybe you can say primary sidebar here that's okay so let's leave it at primary sidebar and then you give it an id which you're going to use to re uh, to reference it in the code this is what the user will see in here in the admin section right here okay but this is just the name so i'll just say sidebar one sidebar two this is okay now we don't need a secondary here i'll just say footer sidebar one because we have two areas for sidebars in the footer so let me remove this as well and remove that as well so it's footer sidebar one i'll do that because i can put two of these so this will be footer i'll just say footer sidebar uh, one like so 
that would be the name and then let me duplicate this and footer sidebar 2 okay like this all right good um, mm -hmm. now this before widget and after widget is the content that you add there to hold the widget usually this content is a list item so we're going to edit these over time and then this is before title and after the title we'll leave those for now so we have footer sidebar two etc etc primary sidebar save so once we do this once we add this action here we should see something in our admin section so let me refresh okay so we get a parse syntax error unexpected theme name widget init in this is functions.php online 33 so we have an error online 33 right about here so it's telling me that uh, <clears throat> there's something unexpected here so this is function oh that's because an anonymous function doesn't need a name so let's remove all this like this okay save this should fix our problem refresh and there we go so now we have primary sidebar and we have footer footer and inactive widgets so as you can see we have registered these areas for adding sidebars and yeah there it is now the thing is if we come back to the documentation you will see that when displaying the let's see when displaying the sidebar we're going to use the id so all we need to do is just say dynamic sidebar so i'm just going to copy this um, to display the primary sidebar name okay no we're not using that we're using the dynamic sidebar so copy that and we go to our footer this time or the index page so this here is the div that is really our sidebar so i'll do this and right here i will just paste that like so so the function is dynamic sidebar and then you name the sidebar itself and then it will be displayed there or you're naming the widget no the sidebar sorry so let me go to the functions.php where we register the sidebar and the name here is this one so i'll copy this and come back to functions no index.php paste it there like so so in here now we will display sidebars so back to this if i refresh now okay so they are loading there and if i refresh here you see that the current added sidebar shows up here the content of this sidebar here so this is already added to the primary sidebar i can edit it remove it do whatever i want if i want i can add another item to this by clicking on widgets here the plus sign and let's see if we can add something useful maybe we want the search so let me click here and add the search so the search right here but i want it to move to the top so let me just move it above this content like this okay so optional placeholder uh, we can say find articles like this or find posts like this okay so update click update there and once we do that it will show up here so refresh and there we go so you see there's a search find posts and this search should work if i type new like this and try to search already you see the results of that search okay so uh, that is that let's see here if i read okay that's okay so that's how we add items and now we can add as many widgets as we want here 
Now, if I want after the widget, let me go back to functions.php in the, oh, that's the primary. Uh, okay. All right, no, I think everything here we can leave as it is. Now we can add more items. Let's say on the footer, we want to add something else. So there's footer sidebar one. There's already some content here, uh, some default content. Even here, there's some more. So what we can do to view that content is simple. Just like we did on the index page, we just copy this dynamic thing. Let's go to the footer and here, let's replace that with this. So like this. Okay, so inside this div, I put dynamic sidebar and then confirm the name. So this one is footer sidebar one that goes to this. And then there's two. I will just change that to two and that's it. In here, I've decided to use that as a menu indefinitely, or if I want it, I can add another sidebar thingy there. So if I refresh now, this is what you see. So you see the search content here uh, and other stuff that are part of this. So you can add any number of widgets to these things. So let's say, for example, on the footer one here, I'll click add and I can browse all. Let's see what I can add here. That makes sense. Maybe latest comments or latest posts. I can add that. So it's right here, which I think is already here because I can see there's another post here. I can add social icons. I can add navigation menu, custom HTML categories. Maybe let me add that and update so it's going to look like a mess because i'm just trying to show that you can add any number of widgets there so as you can see this is the content we see down there now if you don't like the listing the unordered list here you can remove it from here the unordered list comes from this so we can remove this for example and just put empty content there save and refresh and so you don't see those dots as we had seen before because it's no longer an ordered list there now i can click on these to send me to actual posts a, a new post uh, another post etc etc so you see how easy it is to add widgets and stuff here now, the thing is, of course, if you're able to add widgets, it would be a good idea to be able to design your own widgets as well. So in the next video, we'll look at how to create our very own widget. I'll see you then.